Hey guys, it's Mario from WATL, and today I'm gonna to go through the differences of all of our axes. The two that I'm holding up are the competition thrower, which is similar to the kill shot. The kill shot only has a fiberglass handle, so I'm only gonna focus on talking about one, and then I'm gonna compare it to the Kraken, and then I'm gonna compare them all together. The reason I'm starting with these two is because these ones are beginner axes. With the competition thrower, the reason it's great is we profile them so they're sharp enough and they're thin enough where they will stick on the board. It mimics and mirrors the higher end axe weights. I personally think this is one of the nicest weighted axes we've actually created. The way it throws and the way it rotates is beautiful. The downfall is you don't have the coverage. The coverage I believe is three and a half inches. I'm debating which one should be more of the beginner axe to start because the thing with this one is this one just won't break. And that's why we call it the Kraken. What is it? The Kraken. This is a new house axe that's gonna be coming out uh, later in 2021. It is extremely sharp. It is actually sharper and has a much better profile than the Butcher, than the Ace of Spades, than the Corporal and the Commander. This is probably the nicest bevel and the nicest uh, sharpened edge we've ever created on any axe in our history. We were so happy with the experiment and how well it turned out that we actually want to roll this into our Dragon Steel lineup that is going to be coming out in 2022. So if you're starting out and you just wanna get the motion, I don't think there's a better ax that exists because it will give you some nice weight, it'll give you comfortable with the throw, and it will take a beating because a lot of the problems that we see at Waddle is people who are starting out saying, hey, my handle broke. We did it, we did it, we broke right through the, we did it. The only way the handle breaks is if you haven't figured out your distance or if you're throwing maybe from your backyard and you're throwing it from 16 feet or 17 feet or 10 feet instead of the 12 feet mark that we made it for. Now we're gonna start getting into our flat bladed axes. So this one here is the corporal and this one here is the commander. The corporal, when it first came out, weighed about 1.85 up to 1.9 pounds. It was an extremely heavy ax. We've recently reduced it to about 1.75 pounds. And same with the Gen 2 of the Commander that is coming out. The thing with the Commander is it's got this nice fish hook to it where if you have problems sticking the ax, the fish hook helps. And it actually works so well that sometimes you have to wiggle it out of the board. So we actually designed this axe specifically for those who had problems sticking it. Uh, the Commander is my personal favorite. And this is the one that I generally throw in all tournaments and in league. This is my go-to axe. I've gotten a ton of positive feedback because people love the handle. And you'll see the handle on the Commander has a bit of a pointed edge to it where all the other ones are a bit more square. Even though they're rounded, it's a bit more square. But you'll notice on the Commander, you have this pointed edge. So I really like the handle of, of the Commander. I like the feel of it and I like the weight. The thing that's nice about the Corporal as well is when you go in deeper into the board, you actually get slightly more coverage. Both axes are now made extremely sharp. Uh, they're extremely thin and they both have beautiful weight to it. The Corporal will still be a bit heavier. Both of them have uh, hickory handles both 17 inch handles. Next up, we have our two most popular axes. We have the Ace of Spades and we have the Butcher. Now, the head weights and any weights that I'm talking about today are all head weights. And the reason I don't give total weights is you may get a batch of hickory wood that is actually lighter than maybe another batch. And I can actually feel the difference between the wood on each of these axes where the density of the Butcher for this batch actually feels a bit lighter than it does on the Ace of Spades. And that just happens in general with wood. With the Ace of Spades, the average weight, and the reason I'm gonna say average weight and when I'm talking about head weight, it's always going to be the average because there has to be some sort of variance under production. These are all handmade and they're not easy to make, meaning we have to manually make the profile, we have to manually make the bevel, all this stuff is all done by hand and it takes a long time. And so you'll have variances in weight. You might have, you might end up picking up an Ace of Spades that weighs 1.6 pounds, or you might get one that actually is 1.8. Based on the sample size that we saw, the average head weight that we're seeing consistently is 1.7 pounds, and the Butcher is roughly 1.7 as well. And you're probably wondering how are they the same kind of weight? But if you look at the back, uh, of the head of the Ace of Spade, there's a lot more steel behind it where the majority of the steel for the Butcher is actually located in the middle part of the blade. All that means is they slightly throw different. If you're having a problem sticking the ax, 
a curved axe will actually work much better. You still have the four inches of coverage and I tried designing it so it extends further out instead of it being like a straight line where you get that cut off real quickly if, you, if the axe goes in too deep to the board. We wanted to extend it out and this is uh, a design that we actually have a patent for because I specifically made it so you do have that extra bit of coverage when you are throwing the axe. That's the Ace of Spades, beautiful weight, throws extremely well, extremely nice. One of the most popular axes we've ever produced. And finally, the Butcher. I think this is the ultimate axe for axe throwing period, and there isn't a better axe out there. This is another axe head we do have a patent for. Um, and the design patent is because, you know, we have a full four inch coverage on it. The thing that's beautiful about this axe is not only if, can you get the full four inch coverage if you land flat, but if you land with a slight tilt, you'll end up actually getting about, I think it's four and a quarter or four and five eighths of coverage, which is crazy to think because that will help you with your scores. That's why this axe is so popular. It's so easy to stick. It's got the pointed edges at the top and the bottom. It's got the full coverage and it's got incredible weight and it is extremely thin. Now, every axe has a, a different purpose. It all depends on your throwing style. Everyone's got a different throwing style and everyone's got different preferences. And that's why a lot of people in the community have multiple axes. The key is, is just finding what axe works for you. You have all these differences, you have different axe heads, you have you know, a variety of weight heads and you have weight distribution, which does impact how the throw goes. We have axes that are flat and we have some that are curved. The ones that are flat are really designed for coverage. We want to get as much coverage as possible and we want to leverage that coverage so you maximize the points. If you're struggling and you want the coverage and you want the ability for the axe to stick quickly, that's where the ace of spade comes in and you have gorgeous coverage and you have the ability to stick the axe. If you want to land flat, curved is for you. If you have the strength to land flat, then flat is for you because you have more coverage with the butcher. If you don't want to worry about it sticking, you essentially have it over rotate a little bit. And you can do that by either taking half a step back or what you can do is slowly start cutting down the handle so you over rotate and throw. Or you can even adjust your throw and I'll give you a quick example where you can throw it very lightly and it over rotates. And I know when I throw it lighter, what it does is it allows the ax to rotate more. That's the main differences between all of our axes. We're gonna have a lot more coming out in late 2021 and early 2022, which will include the Jack of Clubs, the Ace of Spades, Queen of Hearts, and the King of Diamonds. So you're gonna have this great lineup of a wide variety of axes, different weight distributions, completely different designs, but all serving a purpose. If you haven't already, sign up to our newsletter online at store dot worldaxthrowingleague.com or just on the homepage of worldaxthrowingleague.com to stay tuned for updates on any new axe releases, any special promotions and discounts that we'll give. Thanks very much everyone. If you haven't already, um, subscribe or drop some comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks very much.